Good morning, YouTube. This is Diane at Snow Fog Outdoors, and this video is a VR for Mr. Tolly, aka Fat Man Tolly. He's having a 997 sub appreciation giveaway. Um, he's well past 997 subs now, so congrats, Mr. Tolly. Well deserved because you, sir, have an awesome channel. Um, he's into gunsmithing. He's into all kinds of uh, uh, prepping, and he does leather work, and he, he, he does all kinds of uh, craft work. I mean, he's he does it all. Um, very talented. When I first started doing some of my hobbies, um, I went to his channel and uh, I learned a, a massive amount of, of things from his channel. So please go check out Mr. Tolly, a.k.a. Fat Man Tolly. Um, you'll like what you see. Give him a thumbs up and give him a sub. You won't be disappointed. So his VR, he wanted us to uh, show one of our hobbies. So being into bushcraft, that involves many hobbies. So I'm going to show you one that I spend a lot of time on and I really enjoy. So stay tuned. Let me get the camera turned around. So as I previously said, my hobby is bushcrafting, um, but that involves a lot of, a lot of things. Um, my major one that I've been working on for the past six months, though, is leather work. Um, I started out simply making like this little, little leather case for my magnifying lens. It was nothing special, just sewn together. And actually, this is a hair tie on there to keep it closed. The second thing I made was a sheath for my Nathan 4071 ferro rod. Now, the first few things, this, the magnifying case, and I would say these three knife sheaths were all done by eyeing it, basically. Uh, minimal leather working tools, just me putting the blades in some leather, cutting them out, sewing them up. Um, a sheath I made for my Mora that uh, Tom Chit would put the uh, pearl handle on. Another one that I made for my Mora number one, I believe. And this is a more recent one I made for this little knife I got at a thrift store that I restored. Now, I also did this leather sheath. It's uh, it's not complete yet because it's not sewn up, but this is for my Opinal knife. It's going to be a neck carry. This is a prototype of a dump pouch that I wanted to make. And back here you have the belt loops. Um, I didn't have any canvas or anything, so what I did was I took one of these nylon bags that I got. I think I got it at Walmart. Put it in there. And basically just used that. Um, I have since purchased some canvas that I'm going to be making these out of. So when I get the canvas one done, either canvas or Cordura, I'm not sure yet. But the entire thing will be waterproofed with beeswax. This is just a little pouch I made with no uh, tools really other than needle and thread and some scissors. And uh, just pull this down and it closes it. I got a little piece of fat wood up here for the button. This is a pancake style sheath I did and put a ferro rod loop on the front with um, some rivets. And this holds my Tom Chitwood. Get off of there. Beautiful blade that he did for me out of a meat cleaver. I'm going to try not to make this video too long. So recently I started getting a little bit more into the leather work and... Uh, I've been making my own templates to use and I have bought some uh, leather tools that 
are required if you want to do it the right way and to make your leather look halfway decent. So I have invested some money in some tools and some things. Uh, purchased some uh, veg tan leather and made this sheath, this dangler sheath. for my Tom Chitwood Old Hickory Gebhardt style knife. Um, I did use a template for this. Um, I really, really like this sheath. Um, I think it came out well. Um, I used a piece of leather um, cordage for the dangler system. And the retention for this knife is just awesome in this sheath. I think it came out really well. I don't know if you can see it too good. The lighting in here isn't the best, but I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And of course you all know I make these little fire kit pouches or tinder pouches if you want to call it that. This one I finally made for myself. I have started, uh, I made myself a spoon knife sheath. It just has to be actually wet formed and then dyed, but I did make that. And my latest thing I'm making is this uh, belt pouch. Um, this is going to be the front, but this lighting really does suck in here. This is going to be the front. And when you pull this shut, if it can do it, it will close the pouch. Then this will be sewn on the back. You have the slits here for the belt loop. This will be sewn on the back. This will come down with an antler button here. And then this will come up, pull it down, and there you'll have your belt pouch. So that's my hobby, Mr. Tolly. I've learned a lot of uh, leather tips from you, sir. I really appreciate you. I appreciate your channel. Uh, good luck, everybody, in the contest. And uh, keep it going, Mr. Tolly. You deserve a lot more subs. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.